Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. I'm Buffy Harakidis of JSA. And we have two very special guests today joining me from XKL. We have Casey Inman. She's the Director of Sales and Marketing. And we also have Chad Lamb. He is the Principal Solutions Architect. So welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having us, Buffy. Absolutely. So it's day three yeah. of ITW 2025, and we are going to be talking more about XKL and a little bit more about your roles within the company. So why don't we start with you, Casey? Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you again for having us. Uh, so at XKL, our mission is to make DWDM easy. Uh, we really want to empower our customers to be able to light dark fiber and take advantage of layer one optical network solutions. Uh, part of how we do this is that we have in-house experts, right? So our company is founded uh, and run by Len Bosak, who's the original co-founder of Cisco. And then we also have uh, our director of engineering, uh, Mike Fahey, who's been with us for 20 plus years. And then Chad, who's with us today, who helps run our um, product roadmap. Uh, and, and all of these folks have, you know, tons of experience with optical transport, um, optics in general, which are very complex. Um, and they've been working on it from 10 gig to 400 gig. And now we're actually looking at prototyping uh, and we have 800 gig in our lab right now. Um, and one of the things we do really well is that we're very consultative, right? Our customers have said things like, you can tell that XKL's systems are designed by engineers for engineers. Uh, and we do all of this while still taking into account, you know, their business and their customers' needs. Um, and then just a little bit about me, and then I'll pass it over to Chad. Yeah. But uh, I've been with XKL for a little over two years now. Uh, I was brought in to help design and execute the go-to-market strategy. Um, and now I'm really focused on how do we drive the vision to make sure that our customers, uh, we can help them solve their problems at the layer one um, optical network. Well, you're level. doing a great job. Oh, We're thank definitely you. hearing more and more about <laughs> XKL since you've joined the team. And then um, I was going to have Chad just really quickly Absolutely, introduce a little yeah. bit about himself. Oh, thank you. Uh, Chad Lamb, I've been with XKL for 25 years, <laughs> long time. Uh, really focused on product line, product line development, uh, work really closely with sales and marketing and the engineering team to develop solutions to help our customers solve their problems rather than create new ones. Well, that's important. We don't need any, any yeah. new problems. <laughs> uh, you recently released two new products, correct? And uh, the fiber patch panel and the DAT100 which I understand were inspired by your unique approach. Why don't you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, our, I'll start with our, our fiber um, management system, our Xcales patch panel, uh, and then we'll go ahead and move into the, the DAT100 after we've spoken about that a little bit. So, you know, one of the things about the patch panel is it seems so simple when you look at it, right? But if you think about the way that operators are having to deploy hundreds and thousands of these in data centers, um, it really does become an important piece of the puzzle uh, because when it's designed well, um, it can help reduce operational overhead and debugging time. Um, so one of the things that we did is we are very, again, hands-on with our customers. So we we observe them, right, in their environment. And we watch them really struggle with having to feed cables through the back of the rack. And then, you know, the labeling is confusing. Uh, so, again, just like how many of our products are designed by engineers for engineers, we took, we took a second look at this. And uh, Chad really helped lay out how do we redesign this patch panel. So um, we've now implemented that and we have a clear labeling uh, as well as better cabling, which again is going to really help you save operational overhead. Uh, and then I know Chad had some additional uh, kind of technical things he wanted to touch on about that product. Yeah, right. Thanks, Casey. Uh, the patch panel came about, as you say, from customers. Customers have problems. They're trying to deploy equipment and time and time again, they're struggling with the breakout cables. This was this all really started back at four by 10 gig uh, circuits, but then four by 100 really made the problem worse and eight by 100 for 800 gigs, even worse. So these breakout cables, labeling, patch panel confusion, uh, 
it amounted to deployment problems, delays in getting circuits brought up, which cost our customers money. We heard time and time again the horror stories of deployment delays for something as simple as this patch panel and cabling exercise. So we came up with a solution. So that's, as we said, that's what we do. We solve customers' problems. And solving problems in today's challenging landscape is, is definitely most important for sure. And then, um, um, sorry to cut you off. No, no, go um, say. So one of the other other things that uh, we designed similar, you know, is purpose-built Purpose, purpose built is the DAT-100, which is our Dark Star Aggregation Transponder. And the, the goal of this system is to give operators an option to extend the life of their 10 gig uh, circuits that they're still supporting in the network. So um, again, we designed the DAT-100 um, to provide operators an efficient way to, instead of managing and running 10 gigs down one channel, don't you want to run 100 gigs down that same channel and be able to support your 10 gigs still? Uh, but I know Chad has a lot more about the design and the technical elements that he wanted to talk about, so I'll, I'll right. yeah. take that. Yeah, thanks, Casey. Yeah, you bet. Um, the DAT100 is really unique. It's layer one 10 gig aggregation. So what that means is we've done a, a purpose-built FPGA approach. It's not a switch ASIC or or router ASIC that's inside this. That amounts to uh, about 10x improvement in latency and about a third of the power draw than a typical deployment for aggregation. So what this has enabled our customers to do is go green and really be able to uh, support their, their 10 gig circuits. They're still out there. They still need to support that, uh, yet be much more spectrally efficient in putting the 100 gigs down their fiber. Well, thank you for giving us more details on the DAT100. Sounds like you guys created these solutions specifically to meet some of the pressing challenges uh, within the industry for your customers, for sure. What trends are you seeing in the optical layer of the network? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, honestly, we could talk about optical networks for hours, but uh, I'll go ahead and focus on just a couple of you know, the main trends that we're seeing right now and that we're, we're looking at. Uh, so I'll break it up into two pieces. So we're, we're looking at how can we provide operators, network designers with a solution that will provide them the capability to more easily offer spectrum as well as wavelengths to their, to their customers, right? They want it to be easy um, to be able to provide services. And so uh, we're actually in the process of designing a solution that helps solve that problem at layer one. Um, and that's, that's one thing. And then the other thing that we're actively looking at is 800 gig, right? 800 gig in the marketplace. How are we deploying that? Um, who needs it and when do they need it? Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Chad to kind of tease a little bit more on our new products coming up. Um, All right. Yeah. Thanks, Casey. So uh, flex grid solutions are not new, uh, but the efficiencies that we've uh, provided here with this new product, WSS based solution. So that gives us the, uh, the ability to provide customers with 800 gig support today, even though they're probably not deploying 800 gig for a while. Uh, the, the, the solution though is really uh, integrates the amplifiers, optical channel monitoring, uh, all the statistics that you need to really uh, be able to operate the system. And we do it in a way that the typical network engineer can deploy, manage, and control. We hear a lot from customers of the complexities uh, of the existing solutions for this. And, and they really don't understand how to, how to control and operate it. And they're having to go to their vendor, um, uh, get additional services, get support, and, and really what they want to do is they want to control their own network. And that's what we're providing here with this new solution. And it will be 800 gig ready. So when they are ready to move to the next level, uh, it'll be very easy for them to do so. Well, thank you so much, Chad, for giving us some insights and a preview of the new solution there. Uh, is there anything else you want to add, Casey? Yeah, no. Uh, so, you know, I'll leave you with this, right? Uh, XKL is really focused on how do we help empower operators and designers to build the, the networks of the future. However, we're also very focused on the fact that we want to support them as well today, the designers, the operators, the network engineers with the problems that they're, they're dealing with today. Um, and we're having a ton of fun doing that at XKL. 
Well, having fun uh, is most important <laughs> while you're working so hard to solve these challenges for your clients. Uh, Casey, where can viewers go if they want to learn more about XKL? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find us on LinkedIn um, at our website, www.xkl.com. And Chad, thank you so much for joining us. Casey, always a pleasure. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Heather. You're welcome. Viewers, thank you for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.